What's up, Lead Gen Beasts? Matty Ice here, Leech for Locals. I want to do a short video on a simple strategy for you to use that will help you master goal high level in the next 30, maybe 60 days, all right, depending on how aggressive you want to be with this, all right? And I wanted to put this together because there's so many awesome things you can do inside a goal high level. And that's both a good thing. Sometimes it can be a bad thing, especially when you're first getting started because you're really overwhelmed. Like you, you don't know what features you should be using. A lot of times you don't even know all the features that um, that are available inside of Go High Level, especially since they're constantly adding and coming out with new features, which is great. I mean, this is literally the most powerful tool, digital marketing tool that you can have in your business, bar none. There's just nothing else like it in the market. So I wanna give you guys a simple framework that you can follow to really help you master this so that you can really tap into the full potential of go high level to help you grow your business. And it doesn't even matter what kind of business you're in. But once you have the foundation in place, once you know how to do some of the basic things inside of go high level, um, all of the like advanced automations and everything that you can create, that'll come to you later on, but you have to have a good foundation in place. That's what I want to talk about here. So as usual, if you find the video helpful, just do me a favor, hit that like button. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Check out everything in the description. I'm going to have a goal high level mastery program that I'm launching uh, very soon. So make sure you check out. Uh, I'll have a link in the description at some point. If it's not there, just join the Facebook group or get on my email list. I'll let you know when it's available. I'm basically going to be taking you into every single thing inside of goal high level, showing you how to use it, showing you how to uh, I use it in my business. And uh, that way you get... Um, uh, you know how to use everything inside of Go High Level. But for now, uh, what we're doing here is basically creating a practice calendar. Uh, and I want to, I know that sounds really simple. You probably, you're waiting for something that's, that was just going to blow your mind. Sorry to disappoint you, but sometimes uh, it's the simple things that actually make the biggest difference here. And the problem I see a lot of, uh, or a, a mistake that I see a lot of people make, which I'm guilty of as well, is they're tr uh, when they, especially when they first get started, they're trying to do all these different things with Go High Level. When in reality, you need to do one thing at a time. And when you put this into a practice calendar in the next 30, 45 days, you're going to have a really good understanding uh, about how Go High Level works. So the way I recommend doing this is creating, uh, putting on your calendar, you can use Google Calendar for this, uh, marking out you know 20 to 30 minutes every day for the next 30 days to practice a specific tab or a certain part of a tab inside of Go High Level. So let me show you an example here. So we would start here. Um, you don't really need to go through the launch pad. There's really not much you can, you can do here. This is just for like setting up the account. But uh, going through the dashboard. Now you might think that eh, it's just a dashboard. Uh, I don't, I don't need to practice with that. And maybe, maybe you don't, I don't know. But it's still good to go through every single tab. So you know where all these things are, you know what they do. And basically uh, what we're doing here is, uh, so I'll just, we'll pop over to the calendar really quick. I'm going to get rid of the camera because it's lagging terribly as usual. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. Uh, so uh, we're just going to put on our calendar. It doesn't need to be any particular time, but maybe on this day, we're going to do GHL, uh, practice, we'll just call it GHL practice, right? And then we'll do dashboard, right? We can, we could probably get away with doing the entire dashboard tab because there's really not too much to it, but you know, it's good to come in here, click these things, the, these different things and, and see what you can do. That way, you know, uh, exactly what's available on the dashboard. Next will be the conversations tab. Okay. So next day we're going to do GHL practice and we'll do conversations. Okay. Uh, and now we're getting into the part where uh, we have multiple tabs here. So maybe you break this up into two trainings. So maybe on this particular day, we go through all of the options for the conversations part of it. And then maybe we figure out, okay, what can we do with manual actions here uh, on this day? And then the next day we do templates and trigger links. So let's do the next day. GHL practice, and we'll do uh, templates and trigger links. Now, a good thing to do with this is to, uh, like when you're, when you are practicing conversations and manual actions, go to YouTube, type in go high level conversations, go high level manual actions, go high level templates. When you're on each one of these tabs and just start to get some training on how people are using these particular features 
uh, there's there's walkthroughs for just about everything on Go High Level. You guys can check out my playlist for Go High Level. I'll have it in the description. I have tons and tons of tutorials on just really cool stuff you can create with Go High Level. But for now, you can just search at, in YouTube and start watching videos on how people are using these various different features. Okay. And uh, for example, what you want to do is you want to start, you want to come in here and just start clicking buttons. Don't worry about breaking anything. You can create a brand new sub account, a new test sub account for yourself and just start clicking stuff. All right. What happens if I do this? What happens if, uh, okay, so I create a new message, customer name, phone. Okay. All right. So I know what that feature does now. All right. If I click all, okay, here's all these other conversations. I don't have anything in here because this is my SaaS uh, sub account, but there's all these different things that you can click uh, and it might actually benefit you too to create a test contact for yourself. So come in here, create a test contact. So we go to contacts, click add contact, put, put your information in and, st uh, and, and start playing around with these, uh, with these different features. All right. So back to setting up the calendar now. So, so we have conversation next. Let's go into calendars. All right. Calendars, appointments, calendar settings. So maybe we book out, you know, 30 minutes to an hour for calendars. All right. So uh, calendars tab, All right? Click save there. All right. And then on some of these, you're going to, you're definitely going to want to break them up uh, into different dates as far as practice goes. Uh, opportunities, uh, maybe, I mean, there's only so much you can do with the opportunities tab itself. Um, but like dragging and, you know, getting comfortable dragging and dropping. Okay. What happens if I click the name right here? Okay. It's going to take me to the contact profile. I'm going to go back. Okay. It takes me back to opportunities. What happens if I click the contact card here? Okay. All this stuff comes up. All right. And you're just clicking buttons, guys. You're practicing actually using the software. Uh, another example would be, uh, if we go into sites, you have all these different tabs. I would actually recommend that you break all of these up into their own separate, uh, practice sessions. So next might be GHL practice funnels. Okay. Next one would be GHL practice websites. Okay. Hopefully you get the, the point here, but while we're in these tabs, now we're going to, okay, we're going to create a, a folder. We're going to search here. Okay. I can do all that. Uh, we're going to click new funnel. All right. What can I do with this? All right. Let's first check out the template library here. How does this work? All right. We go through all these, you know, we got filters here. All right. Let's play with that. Let's scroll down. Let's check a couple of these boxes, see what comes up. We'll select it. We'll preview it. We're just playing around with the funnel and then you create an, uh, and then go ahead and create a new funnel open up the funnel. Okay. So when we open up a funnel, what happens? All right. So now I have all these different tabs here. All right. What does all this mean? What can I do with this? And anything that you're not sure about go to YouTube, or you can go to the go high level, uh, help center. Uh, they have tons of training on how to do these, these basic types of things and what these do. So, <clears throat> um, you know, maybe you do a search for go high level funnel stats go high level funnel settings and just see what comes up on YouTube and the uh, go high level help center. And then from there, you know, open up the funnel builder itself. So we'll open this in a new tab and start playing around. Maybe, maybe this right here, you dedicate an entire day or, you know, 30 minutes to an hour, an entire practice session, just playing with the funnel builder itself. All right. Okay. What happened? Look, what are all the elements I have access to here? All right. If I drag this on here, okay. What does that do? All right. I'll click this. Okay. we got a sidebar here. What's all this now, this might seem like a lot. Uh, and it's because there's so many really cool things that you can do with go high level, but when you have it mapped out each day, right. Where you're going to practice a certain part of the software, it really helps take out that overwhelming aspect of learning go high level. And it gives you a framework to, to master the, the really important parts of go high level. One, one last example I'll show you, uh, is automations. Like I, I can't even tell you how, like, I'm still learning how to do, how, how to use the workflow bill, like combining all the different triggers and actions. So don't get discouraged guys. You know, if you're, if you come in here, so we'll create a workflow, uh, we'll start from scratch. All right. And you're, you look at this stuff and it's like, oh my gosh, there's just too many things I can do. 
just practice it. Maybe, maybe you dedicate a couple of, uh, a couple, like two, three, maybe four practice sessions, just using the workflow builder. You come in here, you click add new workflow trigger, and just look at all of the different triggers that you can use and start to think about how they can apply to your business. So what happens when I click customer replied? Okay. I can add a filter here. I see that. What are these different filters I can do? Okay. So if a customer replied with this phrase, doesn't have a tag. All right. Um, but as you do this, you'll start to get an idea of how these things can apply to your business. Then we'll click plus sign. Maybe you want to send an email. Okay. What happens when I click this? All right. I've got a from name, got a from email. What does this do right here? Okay, cool. So I can actually insert custom information automatically in here. All right, great. I could type out my email right here. I can select the template that I've made. Um, for me guys, this was, this was really how I learned go high level. Now, you know, I, I went through a lot of YouTube videos as well, uh, but I did it in the aspect of the framework that I'm showing you right now, as I was learning a particular feature inside of go high level, that's when I would go to YouTube. Okay. How do I do this with the calendars? And then I would move on to the next feature. How do I create this type of workflow or whatever? Right. So anyways, um, hopefully that helps guys. Uh, it's definitely helped me over the past couple of years that I've been using go high level. And if you just commit the time and really uh, commit to this type of, um, uh, system of actually putting it on a calendar for the, like mapping it out, what you want to practice for the next 30 days, I promise you, you will have a really good foundation on how go high level works. So I hope that helps guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments, leave your feedback. I'd uh, love to hear what you think about this and what you do to master go high level, uh, get better with it every day. Uh, hope you guys are crushing it and I will talk to you in the next one.